There's a clear association between vitamin D deficiency and less time in the sun, but it's not that straightforward because you have other things to consider. So um, again, because I said vitamin D is a fat soluble uh, vitamin, the more adipose tissue a person has, the greater the sequestration of vitamin D into the fat cells. In other words, you take two individuals that have the same amount of you know sun exposure and other factors, even skin tone and things we'll talk about in a second, one of them has much more adipose tissue than the other, they're gonna have lower vitamin D, all things equal, because they are sequestering more of the vitamin D in their fat cells. So obesity right off the bat is a potential uh, risk factor that drives um, low vitamin D. The other thing we talk about, of course, is skin tone. So we'll, we'll, I guess, talk about this more shortly. But those who have more naturally occurring melanin have more built-in protection from UV radiation, which means less UV conversion for vitamin D. So darker skin people are going to have um, lower vitamin D levels. Uh, and then I think one other thing to mention here, because we've talked about it so much in the past, is the impact of magnesium. And people may recall from the previous AMA on this topic that, um, you know, I take a kind of hardline view on this, and I actually think most people um, do not have adequate levels of magnesium, or certainly not optimal. So maybe they're, you know, biochemically, you know, adequate, but they certainly wouldn't be optimal. And so suboptimal levels of magnesium um, will also uh, impede uh, metabolism of vitamin D, and and therefore um, we we will see low magnesium associated with low vitamin D because magnesium is a cofactor in the enzymatic conversion of vitamin D.